Hi everyone, welcome to Connected by Games. Today we're going to learn how to play one of my favorite games, Hive Mind. Hive Mind is a 3 to 12 player game, but really you can play with however many people you want. And the ages, um, what does this even say? It says 8 and up, but really if you have people that can spell and that know what words are, they can pretty much play as well. Um, this is a really fun party game, so we're taking a break from those strategy games that we've been talking a lot about, and this is one of our favorite party games. Yeah, this is a great game to just bring a group of friends together or family as well, those wide age group families that you might have, but this is a really fun game, and it's a word association game, and mm -hmm. what you're trying to do is you're trying to be like a beehive, right? You're trying to be like-minded with all the people around you. You want to be thinking the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside the box so we can set things up, all right? The first thing we got here is the rule book. We don't really need that because we're gonna be going over the rules right now. Um, we got the game board. Um, let's see if I can open it up here. <laughs> the game board right here, nice and colorful. We got the hive right here where you wanna stay in and then where the queen bee going through all the flowers. Next, you're gonna take out all of the pencils that they nicely provide you with. Um, we are both teachers, so yes, we have a pencil sharpener mm -hmm. on hold. Um, and also it comes with paper too. We actually ran through it all, so we are just using our own paper for this. Uh, next we have the timer. Um, the timer is just for those really slow people who take like to take the time. We don't usually play with it um, because it adds a little bit too much pressure on us. Um, but if you have those people who are slow, Go ahead and use the timer. I've been tempted to take it out a few times for some people. <laughs> um, this is the queen bee you're going to take out, and then we're going to show you where to put that. The dice is what moves the queen bee around. Um, you're going to take out these two blockades. These are going to go on the hive. We're going to show you where. Um, and then there's a bunch of different colored um, bees here that will be the player tokens. So take out the amount of tokens you need for each player. And then lastly, you're just going to take out all the cards that you're going to use for the game. To set up this game here, first off, you need to choose your colored B, um, depending on how many players there are. So let's pretend there's four players right here. So we're just going to put four Bs, and they start off on the number one spot right here. All right, next you're going to take the queen B, and you're going to put it on where it says queen B start. And then you're going to be rolling the dice, and you're going to see what number you roll. And so there's a five, so that queen bee is going to move five spaces up, and it landed on a single bee. That just means that the person who has the lowest score is going to go down. Now, if we continue rolling and we get, and we land on one with two bees, that means the two lower scores go down. If you land on one with three, three bees on it, that means that the lowest three scores are going to be going down. If you land on one with a honey pot. That means that the person who got the highest score gets to move up in the in the hive, and the person who gets the lowest score is going to go down in the hive. Yeah, and then keep in mind that it's not the um, two lowest players, it's the two lowest scores. So if there's the tie for the lowest score, let's say two players got three points and that was the lowest score, those two players would go down, but also the next lowest would go down as well. So it's the two lowest scores and not the two lowest players. But next we have these blockades right here. And you're going to put one between the 3 and 4 tier, the 4 and 5 tier, and the 5 and 6 tier. So that those staircases right there. And what those do is it stops people from going out of the beehive too quickly. So let's say um, pink right here got down to level 3 and everyone was still at top. If level three, or, or if the pink B was supposed to go down because they got the lowest score, instead of going down to tier four right there, um, because they're the first that would have gone down, they would just break the blockade right there and take that out of the game. And then the next round, they're able to go down. If that pink B kept going down, kept going down, breaking the blockade, going down again, breaking the blockade, and now they're on the sixth level of the hive, if they lose one more time, then they leave the hive, and they are the only loser of the game. Alright, so we rolled the die, and we rolled a 4, 
So we moved the queen bee four spots up and we landed on a single bee. So that means just the lowest player is going to go down. So I know it says three to 12 players. We're going to play with two just so you can get a vision of what the game is supposed to look like. All right. So I'm going to um, draw a card here. The first thing you want to do is draw one of these question cards, whoever's turn it is. And then you have a bunch of choices to choose from. You have like um, six questions that you can choose from, or you can always just make up your own. So let's take a look here. Yeah, the, every card has like a, or create your own question, or you can modify any question that you want to as well. Um, again, we are just using random paper that I just found, um, and we're using some of our favorite games to write on, because that's what we do. All right, so I got the question here. Um, go ahead and play along if you'd like. Comment below, what did you think of when I read this question? What are three things that come to mind when you think of Italy? Oh, man. All right, so this is a tough one. Three things that come to mind when you think of Italy. Oh my gosh. All right, so you just write it on your paper. Make sure no one else can see. Um, uh, I should have picked an easier question. Uh, yikes. And I'm, so, I'm trying to think of what Aaron is thinking. Mm -hmm. um, and he's trying to think what I'm going to think of. So... I feel like, oh man, um, I need one more. I do too. Um, this is where the timer would put some pressure on us. Yeah, we're not going to use it. <laughs> um, I got my three. All right. So since Aaron drew the card, he's going to go ahead and start. All right. My first thing was the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I did not write that. All right. So normally what, what happened was whoever had that written down, they would raise their hand and you get a point for every person who would write that down. And everyone in the group who wrote it down would get those points. So I was the only one person that wrote it down. So I'm going to get one point for that. Uh, my second answer was Rome. I had Rome, so I'm going to raise my hand. And so since there's two hands raised, we get two points for that one. So I'm just going to put a two next to my Rome. Perfect. And then my third thing, I put the Colosseum. That is what I put as well. Nice. So we get two points for that. And now that Aaron is done with his turn, it just goes in a circle. And then all the next person is going to say what they had. No, there's only two of us, so I know that I get one point for the mm -hmm. rest of these. Well, I only have one more. I wrote Gelato. Just because our friends had studied abroad there, mm. and they said they had gelato almost every day. Makes so, sense. Makes sense. Um, I almost put the Lizzie McGuire movie. <laughs> I could have seen you doing so. that. Yeah. Um, again, it's um, like who you're playing with, right? If we were playing with those friends who went to Italy, they pro they might have put gelato down, but I didn't know about that. So. Yeah. So then you just count up your points. So if you can see on here, like Rome, gelato, and Colosseum. I don't know if I spelled Colosseum right, so... Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I got a total of five points. Um, you can organize this however you want. Um, just as like a quick little thing, I made this before. This is how I tend to keep track. So it's just like in a nice organized fashion um, and it doesn't take up too much space because you are just going to keep reusing your paper as you go. Yeah. So now we look and see who got the lowest score. Because it's two people, we're always going to have the same score. That's why you have to play with more than two people. Yeah. So... Um, doesn't work out really well, but you know, you got to see how we play and that's how you play hive mind If this game looks fun, go ahead and check out our description There's gonna be a link so that you can buy this game If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel Well, thanks for watching and we are connected by games